what you guys warm welcome to country van life uk uh hope you're all good hope you're all having a lovely weekend uh, i'm still down here with my uh daughter uh lisa my eldest uh daughter obviously over here to see the uh new addition to the family uh the granddaughter and uh it's sunday today it's a bit of a bit of a special day um in lots of ways uh memories and all types of things spring back to mind and uh, remind you of the days uh, that have gone by you know we've all lost people i'm sure and um as you know uh, i lost my dear wife christine uh, in tragic circumstances and today you know even though i'm over here for a celebration of a new life uh, with my beautiful granddaughter she's done in she's a gorgeous little girl my first granddaughter as well I've got two grandsons taylor and logan to lisa and this is the first uh, child to kirsty my youngest daughter uh mila and she's lovely so even though we're celebrating new life today would have been a massive massive celebration uh if christine was still alive because it would have been her 70th birthday today and she did like a party my god she did like a lovely family party she was a family girl and uh it would have been big celebrations today preparing everything for a big uh, get together somewhere no doubt uh, with all the families so it's a bit of a uh, it's a bit of a funny feeling, you know, you've got the joy of new life and the sorrow and anguish, depression and anxiety of uh, a loss as well. So life and death, which I presume, you know, that's what life is all about, isn't it? Especially as we get older, we start losing people. But uh, it's really sad. I was sat in the garden this morning thinking of Christine on her birthday and what we would be doing if she was still here with me. What we'd be doing today, we'd be preparing everything. She'd be so excited, get the party dress ready and everything. I'd be cooking a breakfast and whatever and preparing a lunch before the party or whatever this evening. It's funny how things change in life, isn't it? It really is funny. But uh, we have to get through these things, don't we? And van life, I mean, van life has changed my my life, I was totally rewired when Christine was killed. Not only in my head, in my heart, my whole way of feeling was rewired. And for several years after she'd gone, you know, it was, um, it was a bad time. It was a bad time, it's still a bad time now, you know, we still get the demon. But uh, I'm in control of them a little bit more now with Van Life and all the community and you guys out there as well, helping me through, my oh my. What would I do without you guys, really? And van life, I don't know where I'd be now. I really don't know where I would be now. But the first few years before van life, after Christian was killed, you know, this, it was just a dark tunnel. I was just heading towards a dark tunnel. I really was. But uh, once I made a decision to do this, the van life, it's changed me, it really has. You know, I'm more, I'll never be myself. I'll never ever be the Stephen that I was when Christine was alive. That's not going to happen. I realise that now. I've accepted that now. I've accepted the fact that I've got demons all my life and I will do. They'll always be there with depression and anxiety when something like that happens in your life, guys. It's really hard to um, to uh, realise if, uh, if you've not been through it. I mean, we've all lost people, but when they're killed, it's... You know, there's so much anger and anguish and anxiety inside you. Why? Why did it have to happen? But we crack on, don't we? We get on. But, you know, it's just, just a quick video to celebrate Christine's birthday today. She would have been 70 today. <laughs> Bless the girl. She would have been so, so excited for the party tonight. She really would. So I say, I would have made the breakfast in bed and the roses and everything and all the usual stuff, guys. Oh, that sweet, sweet girl. I wish she was still here. But now we're celebrating Christine. We're celebrating the new life in the family as well, which balance the scales a little bit. They balance the scales a bit. It's another massive joy in my life to see my new granddaughter. But today is a bit of a reflective day, it really is. And all those that suffer with anxiety out there and 
depression or mental health issues you know you need to do something in your life you need to change dramatically what you're doing if you're in that low moments you know you're feeling depressed and you feel it's the end of the world and you know i walk down the streets i see people hand in hand and i just feel so so sad inside you know even though they're happy that you're not holding your girl's hand but uh, we have to get through it the best we can and I, you know, I highly recommend doing something like this, whether it's as dramatic as what I'm doing, just total van life, just giving up the home and everything. I don't know, but you need to do something to change. You can say you'll never, you'll never be right. You know, you'll always, you know, it'll always be there. The sadness will always be there in your heart. It really will be. But you learn to control it a little bit more. You really do. And you start cracking on your life and start living again and start smiling again and start making friends and being happy and filling your life with good people. That's the beauty about van life. My life is full of one for one for people, you guys. And it's you guys that have changed my way of thinking. I'll never be the man I was. No, I, don't, I accept that, I'll never be the man I was. But it's a lot better now. Now this is just a quick video guys for anyone that's suffering with anxiety and depression do something like this the community it's more about the community than anything than just van life me waking up to beautiful places it's more about it's more than that it's the community the fellowship the comradeship the loyalty the support oh my oh my the support i get you guys have changed my life you really have but today thinking about Christine. So I was sat in the garden first thing this morning. I was out there for about uh, an hour and a half when the sun was out, first thing, thinking about my poor girl's birthday, what we would be doing. Sky was sat at my feet and she kept looking up at me. She knew there was something wrong. You know, dogs have got a sixth sense, haven't they? They've got a sixth sense. They know when there's something wrong with their masters or whatever. And she knew something was wrong. She kept looking up at me with the... Uh, Sorrowful eyes kept looking at me and wondering what was going on, but they do have a sense, don't they, animals? They really do. And as I sat there, I think about Christine. A butterfly came by and landed on the bush right behind me. I just sat there for a few seconds. Probably one of the last butterflies of the season. So we're into autumn now. And that's probably the last butterfly of the season. Is that Christine coming down to say, don't worry, Steve, I'm here. You know, I think it was. But uh, that was uh, that's probably one of the last butterflies of the season, so I'll have to wait till spring now before I can see Christine again and say hello, as we always did when we saw butterflies when we were apart. Bless you, Christine. Bless my new granddaughter. So sorrow and joy. Life's a funny thing, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks for all your lovely comments as well today. Christine's birthday. And we'll catch you on the next upload. Till then, you travel safe, guys. Be happy. We'll see you on the next upload. Ta-da.